Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for November 11th, 2020. So yesterday, we had a little bit of fight in the market. We had some back and forth. We had a little bit of selling and some buying, and ultimately, the bulls ended up um, holding up very, very well on the day. This morning, we have futures trying to push higher, in, particularly in the Dow. So let's take a look, settle in, and see how this sets up for the hump day edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Well, today we have those futures pushing again, but unfortunately we have some uh, bearish news out there as well. And it may want to give you just a little bit of pause because of some of the technicals that we see in the chart. So let's talk about that. First, um, we saw pandemic numbers continuing to rise dramatically. Hospitalizations hit a new record yesterday, over 61,000 uh, COVID-related hospitalizations, and our infection rates topped 130,000 yesterday, also a new record, raising some concerns about um, how challenging this winter is going to be. There was also um, news that um, I can't even remember what uh, city it was, um, passing some regulation, going back into some lockdown, restricting bar activity and um, those kind of things. So uh, some challenges may be still ahead. I think we want to be a little bit careful in the chase here. I know that feeling that everyone has of, oh my gosh, I'm missing out and rushing in to a market like this. But we want to be a little bit careful here and considering the risk of this event-driven market, how easily we could whip the other direction. Now, if you look just at the Dow, let's, let's just take, a, let's just go to the Dow Jones here and notice that if we we're just to pull back into the gap. Now, please keep in mind, we're trying to move a little bit higher this morning. If we were just to pull back to the gap, notice that's a 420 plus potential um, uh, pullback just to test this price support over here in the chart. So keep in mind that we could still have very dramatic moves. We, these are big moves in the market and we want to be really, really careful about overextending ourselves in trading. And I certainly understand that fear of missing out. Um, but we have to um, measure these risks very carefully. Make sure you're not over trading this market because of the potential uh, dangers that do exist. Let's also keep in mind just exactly how far away we are from our key moving averages. Anytime we have seen that in the market, we extend way above our averages. We typically find a way to either come back to that or we do longer term consolidations. And there may be a case out there for, for suggesting that we could see that longer term consolidation out here, choppy price action, as we wait for that 50 day moving average to try and catch up and we absorb this big price move in the market. Remember, we still haven't got a certification on the presidential election and there are concerns out there as we continue to um, circulate this around, waiting for courts to uh, make a decision um, on this. So just be really careful and remember we are in a considerably news-driven environment where there is considerable risk of this overextension in the short term. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY is also in a very similar condition, not quite as bad as the Dow, but if we take a look, we do have some price supports. And the reason I say not quite as bad as the Dow, Dow is we're testing some price supports here in the chart. We have a little bit more evidence of price support. We're trying to hold that up. Now, also keep in mind that we have this very, very large spread between our, our current prices here in the chart and that 50 day moving average. That chance that we could be waiting um, for this to turn up to provide that support. And we may need either that substantial pullback to occur 
or that longer term consolidation up here to allow that um, these price action moves to be absorbed and those averages to catch up. Just take any chart and go back and look when we extend so far away from a 50 day moving average, we tend to do these pullbacks to retest or we consolidate for that longer period of time up here to allow them to catch up. If we look at the cues, cues much different position here. We've seen a rotation, as I've been mentioning over the last few days. We're seeing that rotation out of some of these high-flying techs. And we seem to be seeking out a little bit more value in the market, looking for those stocks that um, maybe haven't performed quite as well as uh, the tech sector, looking for a little bit of value, and also looking for some dividend paying stocks. They seem to be doing quite well right now. So be careful of this rotation. Now let's notice that the NASDAQ itself, testing that 50 day moving average, it's trying to get some bullishness this morning, and that would be good if we can hold on to that 50-day moving average. But let's also take a particular note in this possibility of this downtrend and potentially that failure at a double top here. So any rally back up in the NASDAQ, we run that risk that we could run into some price resistance and then start to see some additional selling that could help drag the markets lower. So be careful, those big tech giants hold a considerable weight in the indexes and if they're not moving up, it could be really difficult or really pull heavily on the markets if they begin to slide south. So watch that close. Let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM is where I think we have probably one of the better opportunities right now and we may begin to see the Russell start to lead the market just a little bit as we look toward some of those dividend payers, some of those value stocks and small business trying to recover with the hopes of the, these new vaccines. So keep an eye on that. We have broken through a significant level here in IWM and so far we're holding that. Now, I still think there is a high risk of a pullback or even a longer term consolidation as we wait for that 50 day moving average to catch up. But just keep that in mind, we seem to be seeing that rotation into more of these value plays. And keep in mind, these oh, a big portion of IWM is going to be that financial sector. Financials have um, made a big move up. They're trying to hold up. I still think these might do a considerable amount of consolidating as well, but the financial sector and the energy sector have seen some substantial rallies helping that IWM. So let's watch those pretty closely. Let's take a look at the VIX this morning. Now the VIX is still a bit of a, hmm, you know, typically and historically, we don't see markets reaching out to new record highs with a VIX this elevated. In fact, I can tell you uh, in my career of 30 years of trading, I have never seen new record highs um, with the VIX this elevated. Typically, we're down here when we're making new record highs. We're at these really low levels of the VIX. So there is some fear out here, which means volatility can remain very high. That adds that danger to these new record highs and these big sweeping moves that we're seeing in the market. So just remember, like I, I measured there in the Dow, just a pullback to support is more than a 400 point move. And that could be pretty painful if you chase into um, a stock in this big extension that we're seeing right now in the market. So watch this closely. Now, with those big potential moves, we would have really hoped to have seen a little bit more um, of fear dropping out of the market here yesterday, but that really didn't happen. We kind of hung in here um, um, just not doing a whole lot. So that fear remains relatively high, which just tells us that we have to be a little bit cautious and careful um, in our trading. Just don't over trade and be careful to rush in or chase with that fear of messing out. Let's take a look at our um, uh, T2122 
And this one gives me that concern here. Now, it's not acting normally because we are so extended in the market. But please keep in mind that we are up here in these elevated areas and we're sticking around up in here. We've seen that before, not quite this choppy before. We've seen periods of time where we have lingered up here in these upper areas of T2122. Um, it's just showing a, an overbought condition. Now that is a short term condition. And remember, we could consolidate, we could consolidate this market and get the T2122 to pull back and provide us with a little bit of relief. So be careful. This doesn't necessarily mean that we must pull back or have that big sweeping pullback. We could just see choppy consolidation for a longer period of time and drift that T2122 uh, back. So watch that carefully as you plan your trading. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar is extremely light for today. Really nothing in here to worry about. Notice we have mortgage applications this morning, but other than that, nothing going on. However, we need to be thinking about and preparing for tomorrow's big day. We're going to get the CPI, we're going to get jobless claims, and we're going to get Jerome Powell out here speaking along with a petroleum status report. So we have a big morning tomorrow of data. You'll want to think about that as you're planning forward. In the afternoon, we have a treasury statement and we have Fed balance sheet. Right now nobody cares about debt we can we can run those debt numbers as high as as long as we keep the market pump pumping up debt doesn't matter right now so keep an eye on these news events tomorrow and kind of be aware that those um, could move the market significantly significantly tomorrow morning um, as you're planning your risk forward let's take a look at our earnings calendar now we do have um, over 50 companies that were on the calendar to to report earnings today and a sig significant number of those have already reported. But let's take a look at some of those notable. Now, please keep in mind, guys, when I say notable, these are stocks that, whoops, these are stocks that I've kind of picked out as notable. And remember that if you're holding a particular stock that's a, a reporting, obviously that's going to be much more important to you than potentially these stocks that might move us around a little bit. Now, having said that, today there's really not any of those stocks that I would expect to be a big market mover. But let's take a look at those. And if you want the full list, click that link just below the title of the video so you can go back to the blog and you can see all those I've noted for um, those kind of plays. Take a look at um, SB. SB um, is um, on the list today, but this is not one, of, as you can see, not one of those particularly um, big market moving stocks. Um, but it is on the list today and we'll want to keep an eye on that. But And that's just giving you an idea that we're starting to wind down in some of these earnings reports here just a little bit. And those big market movers are uh, kind of behind us. But we also have like... Um, um, let's see, APD, APD um, reporting today. Um, this chemical company, notice what, that we tried to break through some resistance levels. Um, looks like this morning we're getting this, by the way, this candle is the morning's price action. So it looks like the earnings report has uh, occurred and has disappointed. So let's watch that closely here this morning. We have um, ATO, ATO will be reporting today. Um, this is trying to uh, break this downtrend. As you can see, we're trying to move higher here um, on the news. So watch that carefully as this reports, starting to hold some support levels, challenging additional resistance levels in the chart. Watch ATO. Um, how about um, we look at why uh, PF, YPF is one that is reporting today. Again, a rather small company um, here overall, not really going to be one of those that moves the market around particularly, but if you happen to hold this, you should be pretty happy this morning. Oil and gas getting some energy here, and you can see this is surging up this morning um, on its report, so watch that closely. TTEK is also on the list today. 
um, keep an eye on it. This has been in a really beautiful upside trend, as you can see, breaking through resistance levels. So keep an eye on this. As this reports, we can maybe extend that higher or maybe we disappoint and start breaking down here. So watch these closely. So there's a few for you to consider. And if you want uh, to take a look at, there's a lot of new issues out there also like LMND, um, Luminate um, reporting, um, brand new issues on the list today, so a few of those. So watch that close. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, everyone, if you could please do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos. If you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. Also, please remember, I truly, truly appreciate it when you click that thumbs up button, helps us grow, leave a brief comment, and also, um, feel free to share this video with anyone, share it on your social feeds. And I truly, truly appreciate those who do that. Helps us out a lot, continuing to contact new folks that might be interested in growing the channel. If you find this useful, maybe other folks will as well. And um, I wanna say thanks to you who take the time to do that. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up. And please keep in mind, some of these are a little bit, um, well, um, extended um, in their moves, and we have to be kind of careful with how we trade them. Um, I'm gonna bring up one of my um, stocks that I truly have a bias on this. I've been holding Walmart for a considerable time, and I added to Walmart here recently. And Walmart is holding up quite well. We're seeing some of these retailers do pretty well overall. So keep an eye on this. Walmart trying to, we had this big, ugly, a candle here on that sell-off day but notice we've pretty much recovered that ugly candle we're holding some price support in this chart holiday sales seem to be going pretty well um, all of those black friday sales coming out real early um, and so watch this carefully as Walmart really has stepped up its competition in, uh, in Amazon and Amazon running into some of those antitrust challenges um, right now. So watch this carefully. Could consolidate over here to trend yet, but keep a close eye on that chart. Um, as you know, I've mentioned LB several times in these videos and LB continues to hold up in this price support area, just kind of shifting here sideways, not really ready to go anywhere. It may be waiting for these earnings reports to, uh, to get moving, but watch that closely. It's trying to peak out up here you can see we had a little bit of bullishness yesterday we're trying to follow through a little bit today so watch that we could get that little bit of rally in anticipation of those earnings events i'm also seeing um, some pretty good strong moves in in other retailers like Kohl's, as you can see running up in this move now this one is way stretched away from where i would want to trade it but I think it's good news that we see these starting to come back and break these resistance levels. So any rest or pullback in here that contacts this support, uh, maybe waits to contact this trend, sets up an opportunity for the upside. And keep in mind that a lot of these retailers are gonna re be reporting here in a few days. So you'll wanna consider that carefully when you consider um, new positions. Other trades that seem to be working out really, really well is heavy equipment. Take a look at Caterpillar. Seeing some pretty good signs here in Caterpillar. Lots and lots of strength. That heavy equipment sector seems to be working really well. Breaking through, holding trends. Watch this up here. We may still have that opportunity where this can kind of um, shift itself sideways over here toward the trend. But watch that closely maybe for that next opportunity to break out and move higher. John Deere is also one of those heavy equipment makers that is showing beautiful trends. And notice how these trends are actually much more stable than what we're seeing in a lot of things right now. We're not getting those big whipsawing moves in these charts. These are more stable. That means there's good institutional support in these. So watch that as this kind of drifts its way back over here to trend. Watch for an opportunity up here in that chart. CMI is also uh, Cummins. Again, heavy equipment. 
This has got a little bit more volatility up here, as you can see. But as we watch this, uh, the this sector continue to hold strong, keep a close eye on that. It's looking pretty good. Another place you might want to look with this move toward um, some um, some safety, um, some dividend payers, take a look at utilities. Utility sector is holding up quite strong. So you may want to go into like XLU if you want to pick up a basket of those or um, with uh, TC2000. One of the reasons I love TC2000 is just with one click I can pull up a list of everything that is in XLU and sort it by what is moving this index. Um, so if I wanted to go to an individual I might just click this one icon over here, sort this out and see that SRE is one of the stocks leading here in that index. Index. Very, very handy uh, to use. And you can start looking down through here of these stocks that are performing quite well in that sector. So take a look at that XLE. We're seeing some of those. Oh, whoops. Um, um, XLU. We're seeing some of those utilities perk up here and stay strong. Pretty decent setup here in that chart. Watch that closely. Um, you might also look to some of those stocks that are bigger dividend payers. Now, some of these guys are a little extended in the, well, not a little. They are very extended in the short term. Take a look at AT&T here. This thing has a huge annualized dividend yield. And take a look at that breaking this downtrend. Now, I would say right now it's not ready for a trade it needs a consolidation or a pullback before I'd be interested in this position but one of the things I love about this chart is that it is breaking its downtrend so if we can break out these resistance levels rest in here consolidate then we could res um, begin that uptrend in these stocks so watch that closely these dividend payers look like they're picking up some ground so watch that closely other places like 3m now this had an ugly ugly candle the other day here in that chart but notice 3m is starting to gradually move up here we're trying to break some of these um, longer term downtrends in the chart let me show you some drawings i have there's that longer term downtrend here in the chart we're pushing up toward that notice that even with that big pullback we're getting a buying response back up this is one of those nice divvy pairs a stock that's been beat down heavily for a long time maybe one of those value plays as well that you might want to consider so there's a few charts for you to look at remember none of these are recommendations to buy or sell any security um, you have to do your own due diligence focus on your trading rules and decide how you want to um, uh, take any of these trades or put them on a list and wait for a trade in those um, stocks that I've shown. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you all of the best of success. And I also want to thank you for watching the video and sharing it. Everyone take care. We'll see you all bright and early Thursday morning. Have a great one and be safe out there. Be careful of this COVID stuff. Take care, everyone.